consider the two very different careers of the terms democracy, on the one hand, and populism, on the other hand. Democracy is a eulogistic word, right? It pr produces pleasant vibrations. People feel good about themselves when they use the word democracy, but it is quite otherwise with populism. Now, at first blush, this sh sh should seem quite odd because the word populism occupies a semantic space very close to democracy. Democracy means what? It means rule by the demos, rule by the people. Populism, at least according to the, Oxford, to the American Heritage Dictionary, describes, quote, a political philosophy directed to the needs of the common people and advancing a more equitable distribution of wealth and power, just the kinds of things that the people, the demos, were they to rule, would seek. But the fact that populism is ambivalent, uh, the, the fact is that populism is ambivalent at best. Sometimes, it is true, a charismatic figure can survive and even illuminate the term populist, like a sort of personal halo. Bernie Sanders, I think, managed this trick among the echo-conscious, racially sensitive, non-gender stereotyping, anti-capitalist beneficiaries of capitalism in this, uh, <laughs> in this last election. But it was always my impression that in this case, the term populist was fielded less by Sanders or his followers than by his rivals in the, and the media in their effort to establish Sanders in the public's mind as one of the many <coughs> lamentable examples of not Hillary, who herself was presumed to be popular, but not populist. <laughs> 